Good morning, and it is the morning. <laughs> it's the morning of Saturday, the 5th of April 2014, 04.10 hours, British summer time, and it's drizzling. This is the start of the second mini bean of the year, um, denoted by hashtag NB02. Or is it just two? I think 02 is better. So, uh, off to REF Cosford, the Cold War Museum, via Strencham for a motorway service station breakfast. I know. And then coming back, staying in a Premier Inn just outside Worcester on the M5, um, with a beef eater next door. So yeah, Mini Beano. But really looking forward to it. Got an episode of Twit um, with JCD and Jolie Odell. The old cranky and the young cranky. Oh, I really miss cranky geeks. Anyway, enough of the waffling. Um, need to fire up ways. Need to get on. Even though I am slightly early. I'm going to hashtag that and copyright it. And this is Strensham. I think there used to be a travel lodge. Uh, days in now. Okay, uh, paper, toilet, bracky, that'll do. Strensham, where I still am. What a complete waste of time. The toilets worked. Um, the breakfast place wasn't open. The home of the hamburger no hamburgers, only breakfast menu. And Costa Coffee, the slowest woman in the world. Uh, nah, going somewhere else. Who knows? Disappointing. Next one up, and this is Frankly, which has a Burger King. Whether it's open or not is another matter. Doesn't look very open. Uh, BP. Oh, um. John C and Jolie, they're very cranky. Oh, and a spot in rain. Great. Mr. Rankin's been on the Twitters. So the update on this place, Burger King, not open. Uh, the brekkie thing, not open till seven o'clock. Really? Um, Costa Coffee, a lot better. More friendly staff, better looked after, etc. Coffee, slightly bitter. Yeah. Um, papers don't come in until 7 o'clock. They come in half past 5 in bed, Russ. I'm getting like, I'm getting like JCD. More like JCD. I'm quite cranky. Um, yeah, and the petrol. Hugely expensive. Anyway, still 459 hours ahead of schedule. And it's drizzling. Okay, who do I believe today? The Germans or the Met Office? On the basis of the weather outside, the Met Office. Okay, let's go. And I've arrived. Only two hours before it opened. However, there's a lot to see. And it's drizzling. <laughs> um, so... I might take a couple of photos and stuff. Okie dokie. Um, this is in real time order, but obviously out of order. Lovely name. Nice gates. And the gate guardian. Weatherborn, but then so am I. And the Bristol Britannia. Lockheed Neptune.
and the Nimrod R1. Looking a little bit weathered, as befits a fine fighting machine. And in the background, the Cold War Museum Hall. It's now 10 to 10. I've been sitting in the car because there's a bit of a breeze and the entrance is that way. And there's already people waiting. But, you know, it's good. Three minutes before they open the doors, so... Cold War Hall. Came in through there, open at 10 o'clock on the dot, past the Nimrod, first hole down there, in, get what I want, go, and what I've really come to see. this year, TSR2, mm. Typhoon. World War II, and maybe a bit later. Definitely a bit later in the background of Bukhara and an Avro Lincoln. The Bombay of the Lincoln. Mosquito. Inside the Cold War hall, hall, it's just started to rain outside. A valiant, a victor, and just through there, Skybolt and Vulcan. And as usual, there's a saucy lady, Skyboat, and behind it, Blue Steel. And what took over from the V-Bombers? Polaris. Where did we entry vehicles? <laughs> 